Hey, 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 intuitive Tuesday. So I was on my way out the door when spirit said, Whoa, turn around back upstairs. Keep it simple. Right now, there's so much going on and yet there's nothing going on. So it's like you're coasting along whatever speed you're going. You're hitting the brakes, you're skidding, you're stalling, then you're beginning to just hover. Like you can't really go anywhere. Boundaries are being tested. Time frames are being weird. Nothing's on time. Nothing's as it expected. So it's almost like the flow has some stagnation, but then it doesn't. So to me, it's almost like I have my foot in two different timelines. I am still feeling what started yesterday morning as this anxiousness, this trepidation, the quivering of the kidneys. And I've had to really dig my heels in deep to override those feelings and to get them to come into some sort of homeostasis so I can calibrate enough to see the realization of my current reality. And without pumping the brakes and doing that, I found myself upper breathing in the upper register. I felt myself feeling sad. I felt myself feeling super displaced and wanting to find placement and asking repeatedly, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is going on? out there, <laughs> which means it's in here. And so I cannot control the out there. I can only control the me, myself and I of the physical avatar and the energetics that are attached to this physical being, this mechanical structure. And so I've had to really constantly pause, override, pause, override, pump the pause, pump the override. So it's taking due diligence. So I got to take more than just a spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. And that's my stop, drop, sit, connect with my breath, bring my awareness into my peripheral and understand that I can only make sure that this physical vehicle is operating optimally. And that is operating in its safe zones. And sure, you could drive your vehicle, gas, brake, gas, brake, gas, brake, clutch, whatever. But is that what is really helping the body morph through all of it? I have no idea why that word just came in. So we're really just we're, we're remorphing ourselves to fit into spaces that looked familiar, but were not familiar. So we're having to morph, remorph our energetics and our physical selves 
And maybe what we walked straight through yesterday, we've got to kind of go in sideways today. So it's teaching us the adaptability of knowing that we're not just one concrete structure. And so we're kind of rolling it back to counterbalance as the world is turning. It's turning at multiple different speeds, multiple different places. Now, I don't watch the news, but yesterday I heard the U.S. government's headed for a shutdown. Oh, the threats that we live. And if it does, it does. We will all maintain a coast. And why do I feel so sure about that? Because we've been there, done that. We've been there, done that. Could this be the final purge? The end of the frontier? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is I exist here on this plane and the reality becomes more real when you truly step into the meat and potatoes and the blood and the flesh and you're not operating from all up and out here as the old programming will tell you you're manifesting from within and you're setting your intention so you're focusing all your attention on the energetics it's sometimes you begin to feel a lot of creaks, aches, and pains. Because sometimes it's a lot to face. But I can promise you, if you start doing small amounts of shadow, which is the side in which you don't pay attention to because you're on autopilot, doesn't have to be super freaking scary, my friends. But you just might face certain things. And so for some reason, I'm being brought to posture. So if you're truly paying attention to where you are in your physical, you may notice that when you stand, one foot is pointed outward. So now you realize your hip is rotated, which then messes with the shoulder so that your physical alignment's out. So maybe you intentionally move that foot a little more parallel to the other foot and try to see if you can train your body to walk in that fashion by putting your attention and your awareness to your alignment. And you'll open that whole sacral chakra up, which will then go up to the mid back where you have serious hinges there behind the heart and then up into the shoulder area and then into the cervical neck and then your head. You may notice that you're tilted a lot. You don't even know that you're tilted a lot because it feels so comfortable until you see yourself in a mirror or a picture and then you retilt. And you're like, that feels so weird. And the next thing you know, you're tilted back. So you consciously make it intention to align and then see if the muscular structure can join in your intentional changes. And so that's what we mean by morphing and going through spaces with a different mechanical movement, a different energetic movement by setting your intention. But it requires connecting with thy breath. And the more you connect with thy breath, the more you what? You understand your independent or individual positioning system. Where are you in the universe? As me, Sandra Sandy. Where am I amongst all of this? And why is it sometimes I feel like I'm dangling alone? Why right now am I feeling this? And some could interpret that as, oh, something's coming. Oh, something. Oh, 
there was a hurricane all the way around the other side of the earth. That's why I'm feeling it. Well, it may not be. There could be just a lot of hurricanes and storms right there where you are. Maybe you're sensing it. And your body's going through what we call that metamorphosis. And let me tell you something, folks. Caterpillar goes in, spins the cocoon, goes through that total, complete meltdown restructuring and rebuilt and then the cocoon opens and there's this butterfly well i've done that multiple 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 times so just when i feel like the cocoon open and i begin to take off i feel like i'm back in that cocoon again getting recalibrated restructured melted down quite frankly i'm getting freaking tired of it because it's like how many of these did I actually sign up for? And did I really sign up for that? Can I break that contract if I did? Well, the answer in some ways is yes, you can. Because what you may have decided in an energetic soul form before you took physical may not match with what's meeting you out here. So all the plans that you originally wrote down, you got to tweak, change, form in order to maneuver through some of the important lessons in which we've chosen to go through as a physical avatar. So God isn't in a, in a meditative cloud way out there, folks. Behind the portal of the golden star of the 12th son. No. The divinity resides in every cell, trillions of cells, and the cells are transmuting and remutating and changing every second. Kind of like what it feels like when you get all stuck up in here, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. The last couple of days, I've had to lay myself down and try not to flatline. <laughs> it wouldn't be a good look for me right now because I have a lot of work to do. However, I've tried to lay in my bed longer in the morning and override the ride. And woo, it's been really tough for me. And I'm like, either people live in ig ignorance is bliss because they just don't know. But all of y'all that just don't know will be getting some glimpses and glitters into some other stuff. And it's going to spark in your awakening. And then those of us who have been on this ride all my life, all my life I've been on it. And I have to follow what spirit shares with me. And I have no choice but to stay inside, fully deep in this divine loving body that does so much for me that I need to just start thanking it, giving it credit for carting my ass around all day long when it gets a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs up here. And it still lets me get up the next day and gives me a positive way to do a, do a redo, right? So have the faith, my friends, that all these things will come and go, come and go, pass, repeat, and change as you begin to develop through it. And Spirit is saying to me right now, I will develop a course I will develop a course. I will develop a course. And there's a part of me that scares the frick out of me when I say that because then it really challenges my intellect and how do I do that constructively? Because I feel very inept when it comes to writing stuff out, like editing these videos. I don't know. I can only be as real as spirit allows me to be real and live an authentic life in this human form 
to the best of my ability and laugh as much as I can. And right now I feel like crying. And all that is, is energy in motion, just trying to release. And so it's going to come out in many different forms on the emotional wheel, the cycle of emotions. None of them are bad. Stop labeling. They're all a process as the world turns. So do I. So do I. And so do I. And so do you. The choice is, how do you want to stop, drop, roll, sit, connect, become aware? And if you do, are you willing to take action through all of that? That's what I mean by opening up the window and jumping the frick out. Because the current stuff needs healing and calibration. It starts with each individual self. So that individual independent positioning system lets you know where you are in the global universe and beyond more messages will begin to come through and the glimpses will come through how you feel what you see and what you sense and that's critically important that we're in tune with how we feel and to let those feelings But if they consume you in a way that becomes unhealthy and you find yourself just stuck in this, this gear that you can't get out, well, then I hope you reach out to me. Just say, Sandy, I just need some help. I need to find my inner power so I can shift. And then the two of us come together and we begin to empower each other through sessions. Because I learn so much through every session with every person. And I know I need to do group sessions. I know. And it's spirits gonna unravel and show me these things. All right. This video went on much longer than I anticipated. I really do have to skedaddle to an office today. I got stuff to do. 10 and 2, connect with my breath, so I'm the who of who, in the you of you, all right? Please like, subscribe, share, much love, leave me a message, I like them all, take account of your physical stance, are you aligned? Retrain the membranes to realign. Let go of what doesn't serve you and look at all of it as a lesson on how you got to the here and the now.